This is ABC's World News Now. Hello to our fans online. I'm Devin Dwyer. And I'm Diana Perez with the top stories on this Wednesday, May 28th. President Obama will make a major foreign policy statement during a commencement speech today at West Point. At the White House yesterday, he said that the number of U.S. troops in Afghanistan will be reduced gradually over the next few years to 9,800 by the end of this year to at the end of 2015, only 5,000 will remain. And at the end of 2016, all will be gone except for embassy personnel. And with all those troops about to come home, there's a new pressure on the Veterans Administration. Defense Secretary Chuck Hagel has ordered a review of the military health care system. This, of course, comes in the wake of that growing scandal over the care veterans got at some VA hospitals. The new review will assess the quality of the health care at military treatment facilities, as well as the care from the department buys from civilian providers. And it was an emotional gathering last night at the UCSB campus as the six students killed in last week's rampage were remembered. There were words shared by the college's leaders, offering the families words of condolences and unity. Flags at all 10 UC campuses will be lowered at half staff to honor the victims. The father of one of the murdered students told the crowd that his 20 year old son died because politicians have done nothing to strengthen gun laws. And take a look at these otters who can't seem to get enough of this keyboard. Those are the Asian small pod otters tickling the ivories there at the National Zoo in Washington. Take a listen. Oh, there's some good stuff. Not exactly Liberace, but we get the idea there. Playing the keyboard is good for the otters apparently because it engages their senses of sight, touch, and hearing. You know, if you pay close attention, it almost hears like they're playing. It sounds like they're it playing does. something. It has like a mad, crazy yes. uh, tune to it there. They're, they're, they're tuning into something there. I can hear it. Wild things. Hey, <laughs> get more news anytime at abcnews.com. I'm Devin Dwyer. And I'm Diana Perez. Thanks for watching. This is ABC's World News Now. Available anytime, anywhere you want it. Choose ABC News, America's number one news source.